Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. How's everybody doing today? It's a beautiful day here in sunny Southern California. And in today's video, we're gonna do something that I've been absolutely looking forward to doing for a while, previous to me even filming being a sparkle in my eye. So I have, oh my God, if I could show you what my table looks like right now, it's a hot mess. I have all of the things I'm kind of cheating a little bit, okay? Cause it's like my January and February favorites. Yeah, we're gonna do a favorites video. I'm so excited. So without further ado, let's get into all this stuff that is here on my table. I'm gonna do a favorites video, not only about makeup, I wanna get into everything that are my personal favorites. We're gonna do body care, we're gonna do health and beauty and food and hair care, makeup, yes, of course. I am absolutely excited to get into this today and I keep looking at everything that's on my table right now and I just, I can't believe that I have so many things that I just can't wait to show you guys. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> Well, first of all, I really wanted to open this on camera. I literally just got this out of my mailbox probably like an hour ago because I've been like getting ready for my video and stuff and we're gonna open this right now, okay? I'm very excited. I have been waiting for these brushes for a very, very long time. Okay, not a very long time, I'm being dramatic. But these brushes are the blinged brushes and originally, I had really wanted to get the Paige Corin or Paige Corrine collection that she had done with Blink Brushes and her, okay, so when I originally decided that I wanted to go ahead and invest in one of these collections, the Paige Corrine collection hadn't even come out yet. And I swear on my life, every week I would get my paycheck and I would look and go on their website and I would just drool over all of the blinged brushes that they had. And I do love glitter, I do love sparkles, but you know, these are just so pretty. So when I made the absolute decision that yes, I was gonna purchase these brushes, it was really funny because the collection that I wanted this is called the Bring on the Bling, the 12 piece brush set. I believe it's the Silver Bling. They were sold out of it. So I was like, okay, notify me with an email. So I got the email and then I went onto the website and then I noticed that Paige had her collection on there and she had pink bling and I love the color pink. Oh my gosh, come on. And it was really funny because then I changed my mind and I wanted Paige's collection. So I went on to her thing and it wasn't available. So I was like, oh my gosh. After drooling over Paige's brushes, I was like, no, I'm just gonna wait. These came back in stock and I was like, forget it. I'm I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna take the dive. So, oh my God, these are so beautiful. Oh, they, they have a little note in there. I'll read that later. Wow. I'm just gonna set that little bag on the floor. These are beautiful. I always see these sitting like in the background in like some of the influencers that I enjoy uh, watching like in their like backdrop. And these are stunning. These are definitely something you can put on display. Oh my God, you guys, look at, oh my God, these are so pretty. <gasps> Oh my gosh. I'm not gonna go over all the different types and what they are, because I just wanted to show you that I got them and that I'm gonna start using them like in my videos. So these are gonna be some of the eye ones. Oh my God. Okay, let's let's just take one of these at least, or this video is gonna be super long. Oh. <laughs> Please tell me you can see. Oh my God, I can't wait to use these. Oh my God. Okay, so enough oogling over those. Okay, let me set those to the side. So now let's get into the video. So grab a snack, grab a drink, maybe snuggle up with a blanket because I feel like this video is gonna be longer than my normal videos because like I said, there's a lot of stuff on my table here. I'm not really sure like what, what category I wanna start with. So let's just do makeup first, okay? So we'll, we'll just go ahead and we'll touch on the makeup first. My favorite 
for the month of January and February as far as uh, like my base goes. I, I know that I've mentioned to you in the past that I really love the Smith & Colt Veiled Threat, which I have that right here. This is my favorite foundation to use. Um, I'm in, in the shade 160. It is what I have on today. I got an email, sorry. So I used to use the Dior Forever foundation and I really used to love it. For some reason, it started to just not work on my skin. So I recently purchased it and I've been trying it again. I usually wear the shade 1N, so I've been really loving this, especially because it does have like a really nice long wear to it. As far as concealers go, when I did my full face of e.l.f., I actually really enjoyed using the hydrating camo concealer concealer. It's a satin finish. I use the shade Fair Beige. It's a little gross. Sorry. I really enjoy using this. It keeps my under eyes nice and hydrated just like it says. When you layer powder on top of it, it just doesn't get cakey or crease up or it doesn't. I mean, let's be real. I have fine lines under my eyes and anything that I wear is going to crease up even with powder. It's just it's just how it is for me. So I like this because it doesn't crease up even more than what I already have to deal with. I almost forgot to show this to you guys as well. So I mentioned this in like a video or two ago and it is a fairly new product for me. So it's the Hollywood Flawless Filter. It says for a superstar youth glow. So I got the shade Too Fair. This is the mini. I love this. This makes my makeup, it takes it to another level. It's just like a step up. And I love when I wear this. It gives me a real pretty coverage because I only really like to put it like on the high points of my face just to give a little extra zhuzh. When I'm done with this one, which I'm sure will still take me a while because I, I mean, I use it almost every day and I, I've only gotten about a fourth of a weight through it. So I definitely will purchase the large size because I really love it. So this is definitely not a new product, but it is something that I've always loved and I've always loved to share with people that ask me whenever I wear it. It is the Stila Glitter and Glow. It's the liquid eyeshadow. I usually wear the shade Kitten Karma. This is something that I love to put on when I, I don't really have as much time as I normally do in the morning to do my makeup. So love to put this on. I just pat it in and then I I'm out the door. I really love this stuff and I always get a lot of compliments when I wear it. So I have a couple of eye products set aside the Stila uh, Glitter and Glow. I'm gonna go over powdered and cream eye products that I really enjoy. So the Stila was going to be the first, I guess like liquid slash cream product. Next, I've been really having a lot of fun playing with the Melt, the Steel, and the Slate gel liners. I've been using these as bases underneath my eyeshadow, and I actually have been doing my eyeshadow a little bit differently, where you can probably tell today that I did like the darker on the outside, and then I like to press like a real pretty like metallic or shimmer eyeshadow on the inner and kind of swipe it across the lid just to give like a real pretty soft shimmer. I just think it looks so romantic and it's just so pretty and sultry. So these have been beautiful to do that with. Next product I have not actually gotten to use on camera. I haven't really been able to use it on Instagram either, but I love this product. It's called Smoke Reflect and it's by the beautiful brand Auric. I was only really able to get the eyeshadow smoke reflect, the cream and powder eyeshadow duo. I got the shade Ego. I did use this together as one a couple of days ago and I used it in conjunction with one of my Laura Mercier caviar sticks. I used it with the shade Smoke, so I put this down first, kind of where you see this green, and I, I blended it out, and then I put this as like my inner lid and then I pressed the glitter on top of it and it was beautiful. So I've really been loving this. One of the eyeshadow palettes that I keep finding myself reaching for over and over again, whether that be me using a transitional shade, something that I press on the eyelid, I have really been enjoying the Ferocious Beauty Darkness Rising eyeshadow palette. And I'll just, I'll show you the inside. I'm sorry, it's, oh, it's gonna be dirty just cause I've been using it, but yeah. It's really nice. I use that center shade quite a lot. 
uh, which is called Snowberry. It's been such a beautiful inner corner highlight and also a highlight for the tops of my cheekbones too. So it's, it's just beautiful, but I really love the colors in here. They have really beautiful transitional shades or just matte shades to deepen up a look. The other eyeshadows that I'm going to show you are in like a magnetic palette. I feel like I mentioned Give Me Glow Cosmetics in every single video that I do. It almost feels like I just love to purchase the individual pressed pans. These are not Give Me Glow Cosmetics. These are other magnetic pans, but these are all I purchased all of these separate shades and I'm actually waiting on an order to be delivered for more eyeshadow pans. They have such great prices on their pans and their products are just beautiful. Um, and then this is another palette that I have that actually those pans that I'm receiving are going to go into this one, but these are the other two that I have. Next product is going to be mascara. I just recently... <laughs> Oh my gosh, you know what's really funny is this is actually a, a big TikTok craze right now um, as far as I know, but this is the Maybelline New York. So this is Lash Sensational Sky High Mascara. I was able to get my hands on the blackest black color. So I do really enjoy using this. I have it on today. It is probably one of, it's. I'm gonna say this is my second favorite mascara compared to the Bare Minerals Lash Topia that I always use. This one is long wearing and it, it really does hold up as like a long wearing mascara. I don't have a problem with it coming off on my brow bone. It almost has a tubing effect when you put it on. So it seems like warm water and like a soap take it off a little bit easier than a makeup remover. My Neutrogena makeup remover, that like liquid eye makeup remover, works fine, but I just noticed that there's like little particles that still come off after I've like washed my face and everything. But I've been really loving this mascara. For lip products, <laughs> the Kat Von D Bow and Arrow Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. I've been using this a lot actually over the last couple of weeks that I've had it. Well, not couple, I've had it for several weeks now, but yeah, I'm really getting some good use out of this one. I know I told you guys before it used to be my ride or die and it's becoming that again. I just love it so much. Some other lip products that I wanna show you guys that I have really been using and I'm going through them pretty quickly. My lips have been so dry because of this weather. It's in Southern California, it goes from like 80 degrees down to like 55 degrees in a matter of like a day or two and my skin and my lips are not having it I really have been depending on wearing lip balm a lot I wear lipstick to work and stuff but not all the time anymore just because I do have the mask on so nobody really can see my lip color and from wearing the mask it has been taking a lot of the moisture out of my skin including my lips so I find wearing lip balm has been helping out a lot so I really enjoy wearing the fresh sugar watermelon hydrating lip balm I keep it in my apron and the letters are kind of rubbing off the watermelon one is my favorite last year I was really loving the caramel one I think it is I went through that one like that I loved that lip balm so much and I kind of want to repurchase it it was so good and I got a little teeny tiny trial size of the Laniage, the lip sleeping mask. I use this during the day. I don't use it just at night. This one I think is just the original one. It's like a berry. Oh yeah, it says berry. I love how it tastes because it almost tastes like cotton candy on the lips. Okay, so let's move on to our next category. Oh, you know, actually I forgot to mention something. I guess it's kind of makeup related. I could put it in the skincare category, but I'm just going to go ahead and talk about it right now. Uh, is the Milk Makeup, the Hydro, the Grip Set and refresh spray. I've been really enjoying using this. Okay, so for skincare, I have quite a few products that I'd like to go over with you. I'm not really going to do them in any particular order. I'm just going to kind of... I'm just going to kind of grab and go for it. I really enjoy using Elemis products. Me, my husband, and my mom took a vacation to Italy. It was 2019, like towards the end of 2019. And they had a spa on the ship. And I was introduced to the Elemis brand. At Ulta, we also carried the Elemis brand, but I really didn't pay too much attention to it until I got on this cruise. I fell in love with the Soothing Apricot Toner. It's a calming facial toner. This stuff is so good. 
good. I spray this every time I get out of the shower or like on my face and my neck and chest and also after I wash my face in the evening. But I love this stuff. It smells so good and it makes my skin just feel really nice and cool. I, I do like it because my face tends to get a little bit irritated even after like rinsing it. So going through the whole process too in the evening of taking my makeup off, you know, rubbing that and then I double cleanse. So I'll do like a cleansing oil and then I go in and like I wash my face with my cleanser. So my face can get quite irritated after that. So this comes in handy very much so after doing all of that and it just really calms everything down. Next product that I really enjoy using, I mentioned this in my full face of new products is the Cora Organics, the Nuni Glow. This is bomb guys. I use this in the morning. I use it at night. You can use it overnight. You can use it as a mask. It's amazing. And I just really enjoy using it because it's not like a, it's not like a mask like you would think a mask is it, it actually you do feel like you're putting on like a little bit more of a stickier moisturizer and then just leaving it on for 15 minutes and then I just like I'll take it off, I'll like rinse it off but I do like to sleep with it overnight it makes my skin feel really nice and soft the next day so that's that's a really good one to use for a mask or like an overnight mask okay sorry I had to change my battery it was dying so hopefully the frame shot is similar <laughs> so sorry if it looks a little different next product I really Next product that I've been enjoying is the JLo Beauty That JLo Glow Serum. I really love this stuff and I, I definitely have seen an improvement in my skin. Now, the only thing I've really noticed, which isn't a big deal to me, when I pair these two together, which obviously is what you're supposed to do because my other favorite is the That Big Screen, the Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Moisturizer. What I've noticed is that in the morning, and actually it happened today right before I did my makeup when I put this on, is it kind of balled up because I went to go pat it into the skin. Like it starts to kind of like ball a little bit like on the like outer rim of the face. So that's kind of all I've really noticed about it that I'm not super happy about, but I don't really care because these have been such a game changer for me in like my skincare routine. So I definitely love those. Another moisturizer that I've really been loving is another Elemis product. So this is the Pro Collagen Marine Cream. It's an anti-wrinkle day cream. You know, I just use anti-wrinkle as like preventative purposes. I'm getting to an age where I, I really want to focus on, you know, anti-aging. The only downside to this is that it's, it's kind of expensive. And when you open it up, it's, it's like a smaller tub than even like the JLo moisturizer. I felt like I went through this really quickly and I'm gonna say I spent maybe like 88 or $89 on this. I know, I know, but I do like it and I only use it at nighttime. So I really love the Elta MD skincare. I use the UV Clear Broad Spectrum SPF 46. So it says it calms and protects acne prone skin and it has niacinamide, a transparent zinc oxide and it's UVA, UVB protection. I love this brand. I came across this brand actually when I was watching Whitney Simmons. Um, I know I've mentioned her before, but she does more like fitness YouTube. She used this in kind of like a get ready with me a while ago and I looked into it. I purchased some of their products and I, I've really been loving this. It just has a really beautiful creamy consistency that doesn't make you feel like you have like a real heavy cream on i swear the upstairs neighbors man that i'm gonna have to make their own show for them because they love to be a part of my show whenever i'm filming oh my god they are so noisy oh my gosh man we're gonna have to get on like schedule here with each other sheesh okay so the next product that i have really been enjoying using with my moisturizers mentioned this before in another video as well as the about face the light lock highlight fluid um it was shaken or stirred is the color oh it's kind of hard to get open but i got this really beautiful gold color and i i even used it today it just makes my skin look really pretty really nice and glowy on the days that i don't really feel like i want to use the Charlotte Tilbury, the flawless finish. What the hell is it called? <laughs> the Hollywood flawless filter. Good Lord. 
I cannot remember the name of that. Next, one of my other favorites is going to be the Glow Recipe Plum Plump Hyaluronic Serum Deep Hydration Glow. It's such a cute little bottle. It looks like a peach or a butt. I don't know, either one of those, but it's really cute. And I like to use this one at nighttime. I don't use the JLo Beauty at nighttime just because, well, the moisturizer is like meant for daytime and the serum. I just like to use those two together in the morning. Last but not least for skincare, phew, my goodness, oh my gosh. My back's starting to hurt. I have eczema like I've explained before and I, I get dermatitis on my hands. A few years ago, I started getting dermatitis on the palms of my hands, especially when I was working for MAC. I was constantly putting on hand sanitizer. We were always using sanitizing products in between our clients and cleaning the counter and washing our hands constantly. And you know, right now that is something that is necessary to do and, and should always be necessary is to always make sure you have clean hands and you're using hand sanitizer in between clients and customers. So my hands have been kind of going through it again. So I found the Skin Fix. This is actually has a best of beauty for the Allure uh, magazine. It's the beauty expert. So it was for 2015 and 2017 is when the award was. It's the Eczema Plus Hand Repair Cream, clinically proven to treat eczema and dry cracked skin on hands, improve skin moisturization by 111%. I, I use this at nighttime, and if I'm desperate, I'll use it during the day because it is pretty thick, but there are times when I have to put on like white gloves and just sleep at night with a bunch of this on my hands because my hands just get, it's so painful and they're so itchy and irritated. So I really do enjoy using that hand cream and I've always been on the hunt for a hand cream that like actually works. So that's good stuff. Now we're gonna jump into hair care. I've been on this hair journey and this is, I'm not gonna lie, this is the longest my hair has been probably since I was a little kid. And I've been doing like different collagen powders that I, like unflavored ones that I like to put in my coffee in the morning. And I can't do biotin because every time I try to take and consume biotin in like a pill form or, or what have you supplement, I break out. So I don't want to have to sacrifice my skin for something like that. So collagen has never done that to me and I do see results in a couple of weeks after using a collagen type product. So that's my go-to. I'm, I'm very picky with the products that I use. I don't wash my hair anymore as often. So I probably wash my hair maybe one to two times a week. And it has been very eye-opening to me that not washing your hair often actually allows your hair a chance to grow. I have been a dry shampoo queen <laughs> and my favorite dry shampoo at the moment which is one of my favorites for this video is the uh, Dry Bar Detox Dry Shampoo. So they had a, a really big size of it at Sephora. So I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna go through that bad boy. So I might as well just get the big one. But this is just the original scent. I know that they have like a couple different scents over Christmas. They had like a champagne bubble one or whatever. Oh, it smells so good. I went through that can so fast. It made me so sad. I should have got more. And also when I don't wash my hair often, I, I noticed that like, cause on the ends here, you can see blonde. This is like my old hair color that's grown out. So all of this is natural. Yes, I am a silver fox, so I do have gray hair, uh, but it gets dry. So even not like washing it as often, it still, it just gets dry in general. So I always, saw this and I never thought like, oh, let me give this a try and see if it helps. And it helps significantly. Oh my God, this is the detox dry conditioner. Who thought dry conditioner would make your hair, like it works so well, it makes my tips so soft. So I didn't say tits, I said tips, okay guys. <laughs> Um, so I just kind of like hold my hair like this and then I'll just sort of like spray the ends of my hair because I don't want it like all over my hair because I've already, you know, done like the, the dry shampoo. So I do really like to pair those on the days that I wash my hair. I don't really have a favorite shampoo and conditioner yet, sorry. Or like a like a hair mask. I'm still like playing with a bunch of different products. So maybe next month I'll have a favorites. As far as leave-in products, I'm very picky for that as well. I was going through a phase a couple of months ago where my hair was kind of breaking off. 
a lot of the blonde was breaking off. Actually, it was more than a couple months. It was a few months ago because I've been using this stuff for quite a while. My favorite hair care brand is the Kerastas Paris. I can't even pronounce this. I think it's Elixir Ultime. This is a beautiful like rose. It's rose colored. I don't know if it's a rose oil or what it is. A lot of this is in a bunch of different languages, but this stuff has seriously helped my hair. Seriously. Normally when I wash my hair, I don't dry it. I just let it air dry and I will do a half of a pump to a pump of this in the palm of my hand and I'll do a pump of the uh, Redken Extreme Anti-Snap. So this is like an anti-breakage leave-in treatment for distressed hair. I'll do like a cocktail mix of these two, palm of my hands, rub it together and I'll just run it through all of my hair and it's helped me out so much. So I, I really enjoy mixing these two products together <clears throat> oh my gosh my <gasps> my throat is hurting so the next category is going to be body care I hope you guys don't like think I'm weird for showing you this but I love this toothbrush this is the oral B brawn toothbrush it's a electric toothbrush I love this I got it at Target my dentist rec recommended it to me. I'm kind of obsessed with my teeth because I've had braces, I've had Invisalign, I wear a mouth guard at night because I do grind my teeth. This is something that has kind of been like a game changer for me in like my dental hygiene, I guess. So it, it rotates, but you can hold it on to the tooth instead of like manually brushing your teeth. This is so helpful and it has like a little bit of a timer on it. It never really shuts off, but it does like notify you when you've had it on for the amount of time that should be in each section of the mouth. It's amazing and you can just, it's rechargeable. So I really love this toothbrush so much. I have had quite the journey as well with natural deodorants. I used to use them a long time ago and my go-to, I guess, non-aluminum free deodorant that I grew up with basically and it's the same one that my mom uses is Dove deodorant. I really enjoyed using the Dove deodorants. It, they worked really well for me but I knew that I needed to make the change again and stick with a more uh, natural deodorant. So Native's been my go-to deodorant. I just came across this scent called Powder and Cotton. I have been waiting for Native to put out a scent like this that is very similar to the Dove deodorant and this is perfect. I really really hope they plan on keeping this scent around forever because I love this. Uh, if I could buy this in mass quantities, I feel like I would because I love it so much. I also love the Native body washes. Those are amazing. I do currently use the Native toothpaste, but I don't want to show it to you guys just because I know it's not available anymore. It was the candy cane flavored one that they had during Christmas and I bought a couple boxes of it actually because I like it so much. Moving on, my next favorite is body lotion. I get my body lotion and my body wash from Sprouts and this is, <laughs> this is a big guy, but I do the Alafia. It's an Alafia body lotion. It's coconut and coffee berry. Purely coconut is the fragrance. It doesn't really have a fragrance to it. It's just kind of like, I guess it smells like a coconut, but it's not a, a strong coconutty <laughs> fragrance. So every time I pump it into my hand, I'll do a couple drops of the Now Solutions. I get this at GNC. It's like a supplement store. This is called grapeseed oil and it's 100% pure and it's great for sensitive of skin so I just do a couple of drops of this into the moisturizer again I mix it together and then I just put it all over my whole body and I know that grapeseed oil is like really bomb for your skin so I really love doing that on a daily basis okay last but not least oh my gosh this is gonna be some of my more consumable items I used to well for several years up until quarantine unfortunately my gym shut down and it literally was me going from going to the gym five to six days a week being super into fitness to nothing I know that I was able to work out at home and I know that we've all been struggling mentally with you know, getting the motivation to go do things. And some of us have been successful and some of us have not been successful with motivating ourselves. And for me, I unfortunately fall into that category of just having a really hard time getting motivated 
to get out and be active and do things. I do have a job, thankfully, where I'm running around constantly, so I do stay active in that aspect. I try to continue using the products that I enjoyed using when I was going to the gym in my like daily routine. I still take protein. You know, protein is still a really great thing to insert in your diet throughout the day. So I try to do like one protein shake during the daytime um, if I can, if I have time to put it together. But usually I'll just put like a scoop of it into a shaker, uh, like a little shaker bottle. And then I'll just like add water to it or like almond milk when I get to work. I really love the Vega or Vega. It's um, protein and greens. I don't feel like I get enough vegetables in my diet. So I feel like something that has like uh, greens in it is really helpful. I do like the chocolate flavor. Um, I also like to get vanilla. So this has 120 calories. It has three grams of fat and it's one scoop is a serving size and it has 20 grams of protein in one scoop. All of these opinions on the food stuff and the workout and the fitness, these are all my own opinions, okay? So this is not anybody else's opinion and it's what works for me. So I'm just, I really just wanna share these things with you guys. Another favorite of mine, I just got a new one so I haven't even opened it yet, but this is the Extend Sport, it's a BCAA. I really enjoy using these for the days that like when I've been at work and I worked really hard because the next day like my legs tend to get sore and my upper body gets a little bit sore because I do throw around like wine bottle cases and I help people to their cars with like their cases of wine so I do tend to get sore from that and you know on days that we're busy with like reservations that come in it's you know I'm an old lady <laughs> I need something to help me with that to help with the soreness the next day but this is my favorite one so it's blue raspberry ice it's like zero calories it's zero sugar and it has like magnesium sodium and potassium in it so and it does have another blend of something else and there's like electrolytes in it as well so this is really good stuff i i used to use this i would drink like 17 ounces you know i just take like a regular water bottle with some ice put it in a shaker bottle and that's what i would drink while i was working out okay so the days that i do have time to do a little bit of a workout routine i do like to take a little bit of pre-workout i feel like it just gives me that extra push to push myself and have a little bit more energy to get through my workout I really enjoy using the Alani New. It's a pre-workout. This one is in the flavor Mimosa. I sometimes will do half a scoop of this mixed with a scoop of the BCAAs. It comes out as a nice flavor, believe it or not. The Mimosa and the Blue Raspberry work really well together. There are times where I have taken some of this, you know, around two or three o'clock in the afternoon when I just need like a little pick-me-up instead of drinking a cup of coffee. This does have have about 200 milligrams of caffeine. We are almost done, I promise. I have three more products. Okay, so I try to eat a little more sugar free than I was before I was like trying to get back on the like fitness train. So I found this brand at Sprouts and they sweeten all of their chocolates and, and treats and stuff with stevia. I'm obsessed with these. Oh my God, they're so good. But this is the brand called Lily's. It says less sugar, sweet life. So my favorite is the dark chocolate peanut butter cups. I can get down on these. Finally. Finally, these are gonna be something that I really enjoy eating in the morning, especially because I don't have a ton of time. These are called Better Oats is the brand and it's steel cut oatmeal. So basically you just, you know, tear it off, pour it into a bowl, fill it up to the, you know, the line, pour in the water, put it in the microwave and they come out so good. I like to mix in like chia seeds. I'll do a little bit of honey, some cinnamon, some more almond milk and then I'll cut up a banana or put fruit in it or whatever. And it keeps me full for a pretty long time. So I love these. This is so good and it's like my new favorite breakfast. That concludes my favorites video. It was so much stuff and you know, you're probably overwhelmed now, but I do hope that some of you are able to try some of my favorites products. I will definitely link everything that I mentioned in today's video down in the description box below. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell if you'd like to see more of this face here. I hope you guys have a wonderful day today and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Here's the desk with all my stuff on it.
Actually, it looked worse than that because I was putting away some of my makeup products as I was uh, filming. Oh my goodness.